Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be doing a one year review on the Deer Family lawn chair. So let's get to the video. This is a lawn chair that we've had over a year now, so it will be a one year review. We got we were contacted by Deer Family roughly a year ago and they asked us if we'd be interested in doing a video and a review on some of their products and or a product and I said sure but I said here's the deal I'm retiring right now and I'm going to be moving so it's going to take me a little bit of time to even get to a point where I can make the video we like to do basically a one year review because that's more fair to you as a consumer as it is for them being someone who's providing the product so for me I, I want to say first of all thanks to Deer Family for giving us the time to not only do an in-depth review but to use the product long enough that we could be fair to both Deer Family as well as the consumer. So with all that said we're going to start off with the list of qualities about this chair. Number one this is a when I opened it up in the box I was actually quite surprised. It is very heavy duty. It's much heavier than your standard twenty or thirty dollar chair that you're going to buy at any sporting goods store. It's got a little bit of heft to it. With that said, this chair is rated for 330 pounds. It actually has in the back back here, it's got what you call cool mesh siding. And this cool mesh, I don't know what it's made of. It looks kind of like screen material because you can basically see through it, but it is super strong. Now, you guys know that we moved to East Texas. It's extremely hot and it's humid here. That cool mesh system really is a huge game changer when you're sitting around in a lawn chair when we were building this shop I was working out in the heat every day I didn't get it dried in until right around July by the time you're in July in East Texas the humidity and the heat is overwhelming you can sit down in this chair it's almost like laying in a hammock where you've got a cool breeze that's still coming through the mesh and it'll help dry your shirt out keep you from getting all sweaty so there's a couple of the p great points right off the bat is how well this chair is built. Again, when I say this chair is oversized and, and actually larger than your average camp chair, if you look, the pup, Buster, just crawled up in my lap. He's got plenty of room. Now with that said, the way these armrests work is they're actually adjustable. So as you can see, my right arm is a little bit lower than my left simply because when he crawls up in here and he makes himself at home, this is typically how he lays. So that way his head's level. So with having the adjustable armrest, it makes it just a little bit funner. Now, as you can see on this right hand side, I've got a drink over there. It's got a drink holder. The one thing that I really like about this that you don't see, or it's not real common in a lot of the chairs is this pocket over here, which is actually fairly large. You can see this is iPhone plus the 13. So it's, it's big. There's still room for a portable charger. Another great thing that I've never used this. It says it's insulated, but I've never used it for the insulated quality as much as I have for just the huge pocket size. If you're out camping, you can take your wallet, your keys, anything that you need, you can shove it down in there and then there's actually a Velcro closure here that'll keep it closed. Now the iPhone's a little bit tall for it, but it will keep it closed if you've just got standard stuff that fits inside the pocket. Another thing that I like about the pocket, as you well know, this chair has been with me on several hunts already. We went to uh, our November trad hunting. We had it there for two weeks. We went back in January and hunted another week and it's trad hunting. And then we also have taken it to the trad hunt in Havelina down in South Texas. I've taken this chair everywhere. Along with the camping trips that it's been on, one of the things that I find really useful about this chair with this bigger pocket, as you guys know, we're camping off grid at a lot of the places. The public land that we're hunting is basically primitive camping. We take our buddy heater, so when you get out of the shower and you're back in your tent and you're trying to get dressed, this is a good spot for your socks, it's a good spot for your extra t-shirt. There's a lot of things you can actually shove down in this hole and keep everything from falling on the ground or whatever when you're changing, especially if you've just got out of the shower. Another great quality about this chair, with it being this large, when I come in from hunting at the end of the day, or even if I come in in the middle of the day, I can throw my backpack in this chair, it's so big. I can put my arm guard, I can put my shooting tab in the pocket. And then of course, you know, there's still plenty of room to lay the bow on across the arm here. And as you can see, there's a lot of heft to this chair. 
again with it being able to hold 330 pounds putting your heavy backpack with all your gear in it is not a problem at all again you can put your bow lay it across the arms of the chair and you're not going to be in one of those situations where you're worried about the chair collapsing your bow's not on the ground any of those deals that you can see with some of the cheaper chairs now we've basically gone over all the qualities of the chair with us having it for over a year as you can see with me and my weight i'm not a very small guy one of the first things that i've always noticed in the cheaper chairs is you're going to get ripping along the top edge back here where these lack of better word the support poles or whatever you want to call it end up punching through the top of them i've repaired so many of them to the point that they gets beyond repair to the point that we have to throw them away so if we're going to go over a list of pros and cons we've basically just gone over all the pros of the chair the things i love about it now down to the cons the one thing that i will say for a chair if you if you're going to get nitpicky this chair is on the heavier side i don't know how much it weighs i think it says it weighs 10 pounds in the deal and i'll post some pictures of that as well that is heavier for a chair however you've also got to take into consideration this chair is rated for 330 pounds which is a huge person or a lot of weight so it's got to have some weight to it just to be able to withstand that kind of pressure when somebody's sitting in it that that i mean that's a, that's a large person or, or even a big guy and his dog. Um, Buster weighs about 75 pounds and he still thinks he's a lap pup as you can see and he's very comfortable here. Now then, one of the other things that you might call a con is it's going to be the price. This chair is priced around that $70, $75 range that will be links down below and you've got to look at it this way. It's just like looking at a pair of Danner boots. You'll spend $350 on a pair of Danner boots. You can go out and buy said X boot that you spend $100 for. And at the end of the year, you basically have to throw those boots away and buy another pair. Well, I've, I've got Danners that are over 20 years old. So if you do the math on it and break down that $330 that you spent versus $100 for a pair of boots that only last a year, you can safely say the same thing with this chair. Again, I've got countless hours of sitting in this chair from using it as a break the entire time we was building this shop we've been working on the wood shop and then moving here taking it to multiple camps and everything else the chairs holding up the only signs there is no signs of wear however this chair has been used and it's dirty so if you want to see a picture of the clean one click the link down below because that's where the link is now one of the next things that i will say for me and i'm not going to say it's necessarily a con but again this just goes down to nitpicking and me personally it comes with one of those little bags. In my mind, they're kind of hard to put the chair in and out of. I would rather see them put a strap around this thing. So, because it's heavy enough, I'm not gonna shove it down in that bag. We, we come from Oklahoma, the wind blows a lot in Oklahoma, and that's one of those deals that I'm just simply not gonna use because number one, when you take it out of the bag, the wind's gonna catch it and it's gonna be in the lake or you're chasing it down the trail or whatever else. So I simply ain't, I'm not going to use that bag. So again, this is nitpicky. It's not necessarily a con, uh, a true flaw as far as the product goes. I would just rather see them put a strap that you could cinch this thing down tight and collapse it just like you see on the Joey chairs instead of a bag. I don't need a carry bag. I need a strap around this thing. So what I've done is I actually made one out of leather and I'll show you that as well. Now for the final con or flaw, There really isn't one. There truly isn't a true flaw that I can find in this build design. And again, I've got to give a huge shout out to Dear Family for reaching out to us and asking us to do a review on their product. If you will look down below in the description, there's going to be several links. The very first top link is going to be a link to Amazon on this chair. It is an affiliate link and it is something that if you click that link, we're going to maybe get a nickel off that sale. You're not going to see a difference in the sale price at all on your end. However, Amazon does give us a little bit, which ain't much, but there it is. Okay. Along with that, down below is several other items that they have that I truly would be interested in either doing a review, whether I buy it or they send it to me, I'd be happy to review them as well. There's a nice 10 by 10 tarp. There's also a low uh, cot. 
with that said what I would like to say is I think this chair is for anybody that's looking for a better quality chair if you're tired of buying a chair that you have to replace every year spend a few extra bucks get a chair like this and I can promise you with the amount of use that we've put into this chair over the last year I can safely say this chair will last several years if you take care of it the only thing as far as care and maintenance that I've done for this thing is I've Number one, I take it in, I don't leave it outside. It hadn't been rained on other than if I was outside and it started raining, I'll fold it up and carry it in. I leave it in whether it be inside the tent or the Jeep or the truck, no matter what I'm camping out of, or even here at the house, I'll bring it inside one of the barns. I don't leave it outside. There's two problems with leaving them outside. Number one, especially if you live in Oklahoma, I've seen it happen time and time again. A guy will be out sitting around the campfire, then he gets up, goes to bed the next morning he comes out and his chair's been blown into the fire and now it's a big melted mess <laughs> number two you leave them outside they're going to get rained on rain and wind and ice and sleet and snow and that kind of stuff is unnecessary wear and tear on an eye however i haven't done anything super fancy with the chair and like I say there's no rips there's no sign of wear the only you can see signs of usage because we use our stuff. To me, this is, if I'm taking it to camp, it's a camp tool. I'm not gonna baby it. I'm gonna be hard on it. And I've done all that. I haven't broke this chair. Again, there's no rips, there's no tears. There's, it, it just simply works great. This chair is very comfortable. It's one that my wife likes. It, obviously, you can tell it's Buster approved. So I really can't brag on them any more than I have. I'd like to say thank you to their customer service and the people who contacted us and asked to do and asked us to do this video because they've been more than patient with me waiting on this video. I know that on Amazon there's a couple of videos, both of those guys basically mentioned that they've had the chair 30 days or less. I'm being extremely fair with this review because we've had the chair for over a year and we have not destroyed it. And when I say destroyed it, you can tell with Buster jumping in and out of my lap, that puts a lot of extra stress and wear and tear on any of the components inside of a long, uh, typical picnic type camping chair and this thing is still holding up again we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes please check out the deer family products in the links below and we hope that you all have a blessed and happy week again if you haven't subscribed to our channel i'd love to talk you into becoming one of the heartland makes and outdoors family members and join our channel join our community and come along with us as we continue to bring you outdoor gear reviews products hunting and fishing and videos, we just would love to invite you to come along with us. Again, may you have a blessed week.